G minor. So if you watch the previous tutorial in this playlist on F minor, you'll know that we're using the exact same bar shape to make G minor just on a different fret. So the bar shape that we're using here is the E minor bar shape. And the easiest way to make this is by using your last two fingers to make the open E minor shape. We're just gonna bump this up one fret and then we're gonna use our index finger to cover the entire first fret. And this gives us our E minor bar shape. Now the chord that I have here on the first fret is the F minor, which we made in the previous tutorial. So we need to get to G minor. So to do that, we're gonna move this entire shape up two frets. Now G minor wasn't inherently a huge struggle chord for me until it came to finger picking. And this is because finger picking can sometimes unveil problem areas that are easy to hide within strumming chords. So let me give you an example. If I strum the G minor chord like this, it's really easy for me to hide a muted string, which is for me, it's the third string. Like you almost can't hear it. But when I finger pick through the chord, that you can definitely hear and that taught me, okay, I really need to arpeggiate through my chords and figure out where my problem areas are. So if you don't know what arpeggiating means, it basically means just to pick through the chord string by string and that way, we can hear when we have a problem area and we can figure out how to fix it. So the first place I'm gonna look is where my E minor shape is positioned. We wanna make sure that this is arched up, especially that pinky, so it's not resting down on that third string, but that's never my issue, but I just wanna point that out in case that's an issue for you, arch those fingers up higher. For me, the issue stemmed from my barred finger because you are pressing down on more strings in this bar chord with that finger, you're pressing down on the sixth, third, second, and first string. So that's four strings you're pressing down on. And that third string just lands in a really funny place in my index finger where I have to really make sure to flatten it out so I'm pressing down on that third string so it actually rings out. Now, something I like to do is add my second finger on top of my first finger. It gives me a little bit of an extra reinforcement to ensure it's like insurance to make sure I'm actually going to press down and ring the string out. So if you need to do that, you can also add your second finger on since it's not doing anything. It doesn't have a job right now. Now, if this bar shape's just a little too difficult for you right now, I have some slightly easier, not really open shapes, but just kind of like mini bar shapes that can really help you start with a smaller bar shape and then you can graduate up to a full bar. But you could actually play them unbarred, you could play them open, but I think it's easier to bar these shapes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your first finger on the third fret and you're gonna bar over the first three strings and those are the only strings you're going to play. So these last three strings up here, the bassier sounding ones, those four, five, and six, those are muted. You can also play this open. You can kind of almost do like an A major type shape. So if you're not ready for barring, you can kind of do that type of thing um, and play it like that. But the second alternative that I'm gonna give you is you're gonna keep this mini bar right here and then you're gonna swing your pinky finger over to the fifth fret, fourth string, and then you'll play from that fourth string on down. So that is three different ways that you can play F minor on the guitar. If you need extra help with your bar chords, I highly recommend checking out my course Bar Chord Breakthrough. I'll link it down below for you. It is the perfect step-by-step -step system to help you finally break through your bar chords, understand them better, and realize they're actually not that hard. They take work. But when you know how to approach bar chords, practicing them becomes more mindful and more planned out and easier. Still got to put in the work, but it's easier. So that completes this basic minor chords playlist. Feel free to go back if you need a refresher. I'll also link down below my basic major chords playlist as well. And let me know what other chords would you like me to make tutorials for, because I'm definitely planning on teaching some more, but I will catch you in the next lesson.